Hi, this is part two. So this week we're going to explore with your dogs luring, um, as well as a little bit of shaping, because personally I like shaping better, but people like to start with luring. So if your dog is not already doing a sit, a stand, and a down, then this is for you. Even if your dog is doing those things, I'm a big fan of building in hand signals, um, primarily because in my life experience, old dogs lose their hearing. And so if all you've ever done is said, sit, 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 and your dog suddenly can't hear, well, then it makes communicating with your older dog much more difficult. It also is really hard to teach a 14-year-old dog new stuff. So I'm a big fan of make sure you're building in hand signals to go. So if your dog is already doing verbal cues that's great that's wonderful as long as they're like 99 percent reliable um, then you can just add a hand signal um, if you're luring your lure actually over time will kind of homogenize down to a hand signal so luring is kind of like moving pencil shavings with a magnet um, you almost want to imagine that there's a, a thread tied to your dog's nose and that you're pulling on that thread to get the dog to do what you ask it to do. So that thread though, for this ex uh, example, is actually a piece of yummy, yummy food. So we have my perfect dog here to help. If I want this dog to sit and he's standing up, I put the treat against his nose and I lift it up and when he puts his butt down, I pay him. Makes for a really happy dog. Over hundreds of repetitions, the dog will start to figure out like, oh, when she picks her hand up, I'm supposed to put my fanny on the floor and pay them. If your hand's too high, your puppy or dog will kind of pick their front feet up. If you go too low, they'll lie down and then you'll be working on exercise too. Um, once you're reliably getting that, um, that sit motion, um, if you want to be an A++ student and start adding the word sit, you're welcome to do that, but we'll talk more about it next week. For the down, most trainers teach this like a really weird way, and I'm not sure why they do it that way. They tell you to get the sit, and then to pull down and make an L, uh, to get an L motion with the treat, to get the dog to lie down. In my experience, that just makes the dog stand up. Um, they might put their elbows down, but then they pick their butt up because you're moving the treat away from them. So you're gonna move really slowly. You're gonna put a treat against the dog's nose and you're gonna go nose straight down to the dog's toes. You might even have to push in three quarters of an inch or an inch. If your dog keeps standing up in the rear, um, practice first, like just baby step them. So get the sit, pay your puppy, treat against the nose, start to lure into a down. When the dog drops their head but keeps their butt still, pay them. Because over time that noggin gets really heavy and they decide to lie down. Once you're getting that down reliably, now your hand signal starts to become just that sweeping motion stand. This one is the hardest. So we typically reward our dogs all day long for sitting and sometimes for lying down, but very rarely do we pay them for standing. And so when you try to get a stand, your dog will um, kind of look at you like you're nuts. Um, and they'll try to do this weird sit, walk, crawl thing where they don't really want to straighten their back legs. Stand is an important behavior to have so that you can towel off your dog's feet, cut toenails, give them a bath, take their temperature. Um, and so you want to be able to get your dog out of a sit or out of a down and into a stand, which just means straighten your legs. So this might take a little bit of patience and is probably one of the harder things we're going to ask you to do this week. So let's say the dog is in a down and I want the dog to stand up. I'm going to put the treat against the dog's nose and I'm going to pull up at a 45 degree angle until the dog stands up. If the dog is in a sit, I'm just going to put the treat against the nose and pull out straight until the dog straightens his spine and then I'm going to pay him. So you're just going to practice those three, sit, stand, and down. If you want to be a gold star, extra credit kind of kid, um, then you can start working on paw and foot handling. You put the treat in your hand, you put it down by your dog's feet, and when your dog tries to dig it out with their paw, pay them. If you have fragile skin or someone in your home has fragile skin or your dog's kind of a bull in a china shop, you might want to wait and let us show you how to do it. This is the end of part two 
and I'll go over um, the next section next.